Hey everyone, so here is a question from exercise six point three seventh question from Square and Square Root. The student of a class eight of a school donated rupees two thousand four hundred one in all for Prime Minister's National Relief Fund. Each student donated as many rupees as the number of students in the class. Find the number of students in the class. So before we solve this, let us just take a small example to understand. But before that, they have given two things. One is the students have donated two thousand four hundred one, and they have given relation that. Each student donated as many rupees as number of students in the class. So, what does this uh, statement mean? Suppose we assume that there are three students in the class. Let me take it as A, B, and C. Okay. So, three students means each student has to donate three rupees. If there are four students, then four student has to donate four four rupees. It's like that. So, if you see here, three students A, B, C have donated three three rupees. If I add them, I'll get nine rupees, which is nothing but three square. Similarly, suppose there are five students, then I'll get twenty-five rupees. If I add five, 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 five times, we'll get five rupees, twenty-five, which is nothing but five square. Here also, they have given that the school has uh, donated rupees two four zero one means this is actually a square of number of students in the class. Yeah, so total amount given here is rupees two four zero one. So if I want to find out how many students are there in the class, it means. Uh, that means students have donated that much amount. So we, I have to find out square root of two thousand four hundred one here. So number of students in the class will be equal to square root of two thousand four hundred one. Now, how to solve the square root of two thousand four hundred one? So you can apply many methods. You can go by the long division or you can go by the prime factorization, which are is easy. Here I'm gonna solve by using a prime factorization method. So I'm gonna find out the square root of two four zero one by prime factorization method. So let me draw the prime factorization here. Now this is an odd number. It is uh, not divisible by two. It doesn't go even in three table or five table. So I'm gonna start with the seven here. So this number goes in seven table. So let me write down the number two four zero one. I'm gonna start with seven. So seven three is a twenty one. Three is left out, so thirteen. So seven four is a twenty eight. So two is left out. Seven three is a twenty one again. So three forty three again goes in seven table. So seven four is a twenty eight. So six is left. Sixty three. Seven nine is a sixty three. So I got forty nine again. This goes in seven table. Seven seven is a forty nine, and then seven one is a seven. Okay. So I have done the prime factorizations. Let me rewrite the number again. So here. Two thousand four hundred one can be written as. I have done all the factors. What we got here, so we got seven into seven, again seven into seven. So when you finding the square root, you have to make up pairs of the factors. So here you can see I got exact pair here. I got up two pairs of seven. This is the first pair, and this is the second pair. So from each pair you take one one factor. So seven into from other you take one more seven, which is equal to forty nine. That's it. So square root of two four zero one is nothing but forty nine. This means there are forty nine students in the class, and each student has donated forty nine rupees, and then only total amount became two four zero one. So that's it. It was simple question. I hope it's clear. In case you have any questions or doubt, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.